The best background for a portrait is usually a simple one. Create a background that doesn't compete with your subject, but suggests a sense of depth behind your subject, thereby placing it in a three-dimensional space. By removing any distractions and detail from the background, it centers the focus on the subject. The easiest and most striking way to do this is to create a dark, light, or sometimes an abstract background. Deviating from the photographic reference in this way is the first step to taking our painting beyond the photo into a piece of art. However, the problem with this is that if the background is created with a flat application of colour, with no variation, the painting can end up feeling flat and two-dimensional. We need to create a sense that the subject is in the space around it and that the background is also three-dimensional and recedes backwards from the subject. We do this by deciding where the light is coming from by analysing the light and shadow falling on our subject. We then use that information in two ways. Firstly, to create a variation in tone in the background and seamlessly blend them to give a sense of light and shadow behind the subject. One of the best ways to do this is to place light behind the subject so that it creates a sensation of space between the subject and the background. Next, we want to decide which edges of the subject are soft or blurred, and which edges are hard or sharp. I.e., you might want one side of the subject to disappear into the shadows and emerge from the background. Here, you would soften and blur the edge so that it is understood to be there, but can't actually be seen. Conversely, where the edge is in full light, perhaps down the ridge of a horse's nose, there is a strong contrast between this and the background. Here you would create a much sharper edge, highlighting the contrast and allowing the subject to move forward in the painting, again creating depth behind it. Enjoy the rest of the video. I hope this has helped you in some way to work out how to create a background for your painting. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am Nikki and I'll catch you later.